Previously on Beer and Board Games. In the game of Masterpiece. One night, one night, one night. Two million. Two million. Two million. Back and back and back and back and back and back and back Bag it a big two bag it a big it a big it a That's what auctioneers do. They don't say bag it a big it a Are you ready for some board games? Yes, we are, Hank Williams Jr. Well, it's Saturday night and we're ready to play. We gotta drink some beer. Oh, few horbe. Dylan's dressed like a bee to bring his family shame. It's time to get drunk. It's beer and board games. Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. We're gonna have a fun time tonight expanding our brains by playing Cranium. What are the lemons for? These costumes seem a little confusing. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't part of this production meeting. Um, so what are you guys dressed as? I'm yeah. Hank Williams Jr. Sure. I'm a uh, space pirate. Uh, right, and Dylan is a bee. And uh, I am Dr. Lemons. And uh, that's my, what the lemons are for. That's my costume. You <laughs> just got your lemons. Yes, two lemons sitting on the table. That's my costume. So you use those to, as a doctor. We didn't talk about these fucking costumes before the show. <laughs> you right? got here late, man. Yes, yeah, so you deliberately sabotaged me. We're going to wear whatever we want so Dr. Lemons shows up. <laughs> and that's exactly what <laughs> that's happened. That's what we got. We need some beer. If you horbe. Life's full of regrets, like that cocktail waitress in Des Moines. This beer was sponsored by Sam Chilton, and it is Duvel, Belgian Golden Ale. Nah, I'm not gonna like it. He said it doesn't taste like bananas. I can't drink this, it does. it's too tall. <laughs> it's very bitter for a Belgian. Yeah, it's like bitter bananas. Sam uh, wants a toast, and he wants us to toast his friends, Alexander Lucas and Heather Digby, who are getting married next Easter in the real life building used for Wayne Manor in the Dark Knight Trilogy. Wow. wow. So they're big Star Trek fans and they're big Star Wars fans, so we want to wish them to live long and prosper and have the Force be with them. Yay! Yay! You're so gonna have a lot of babies! Why don't you tell us how to play this game? Cranium is a game that combines trivia knowledge and information and sculpting, artistic uh, endeavors, and acting. It's like a liberal arts education in a board game. Exactly, and it's just as useful. So what you do is you form teams, and then you try to win by answering questions from each category with your teammate. When do we start? You got somewhere you gotta be? <laughs> Get all the bee jokes out of the way, okay? Don't trust the bee in apartment 23. Don't trust the bee? You, ne you never heard of that show? No. Cop Rock? No, the fucking show I just said, not Cop Rock. <laughs> Who mentioned anything about Cop Rock? You mentioned a show that was on TV. I mentioned one. I didn't know B23 was <laughs> He makes a good show. point, though, Matt. Cop you Rock. <laughs> During conversation, you just hear like, <laughs> TV shows. <laughs> And then you just blurt out whatever. <laughs> Let's play Cranium! So we start off by picking the category that we want them to ask us a question in. We'll have uh, Dylan read <laughs> the question. <laughs> this is a spellbound question. To win this spellbound, choose a teammate who can correctly spell the word below on the first try without writing it down. You are the one who won the uh, Spelling Bee Championships in 6th and 7th grade, so maybe you should take this word. I will do it. Damn it! G-A-M-M-I-T? Incorrect. Meh. Okay, I'm taking the <laughs> spelling. Because you knew how to spell it. <laughs> so how did you win those trophies exactly? Okay, so they were very small classes. I went to a very small school. I competed Rode on a very small bus. <laughs> <laughs> I competed against ten kids and, and most of them didn't try. Did most of them have feeding tubes? No, they just didn't want to be seen as nerds. Did you guys get really excited when you got to go to the zoo? <laughs> Every kid got really excited when they wanted to go. No, but did you get like really excited, bang no. your head against the wall and have to wear a special hat? If you me, bring them out. Fetch my uh, medals. They're in the tiny Tupperware. He's a real life spelling champion medals. Hey, you keep your medals in a little Tupperware container. <laughs> This is the Legion of Honor yes. on remedial spelling. <laughs> Let's do something that's better than spelling. Uh, star performer. You've got a humdinger. Whoa! Not yet, I don't. Choose a performer from your team who can get you to guess the song on the back of this card by humming or whistling with no lyrics or gestures. I'll be the hummer. I'll be the hummer. Here we go. 
Staying alive, staying alive. Fuck you, fuck you, we just won, we just won. You can move into the fast track because you answered that correctly. Yeah, we're fast track. Yeah. To win the copycat, choose a performer for you, from your team who can get you to guess the answer on the back of the card by acting like the famous person or <gasps> character. High five in advance. The performer can talk like the person but cannot say names of people or places. Go. I said I wanted a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> and you didn't give me a grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm going to pull out my hand cannon. And I'm gonna put a hole in you. Clint Eastwood? That was an right. awful Clint Eastwood impression. It was more Jack Palance than Clint Eastwood. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Few Horbe, let's have another beer. Yeah, let's get this party started. This toast is dedicated to Jackie Lee, who sounds like a smoking hot Asian girl. No, that's wrong. It's from her. Oh, this toast is from a smoking hot Asian girl named Jackie Lee. <laughs> I have like no to... evidence that that's true. <laughs> this toast is from a smoking hot Asian girl named Jackie Lee. He just keeps on saying it. It's a smoking hot Asian girl, Jackie. <laughs> this toast is from a smoking hot Asian girl named Jackie <laughs> Lee. <laughs> and he, Jackie Lee, smoking hot Asian girl, would like to wish Frank Kakuchituo a happy birthday. No, let me try it again. Frank Kakuchituo. What the fuck? Wait, Jackie Lee, I love you, baby. <laughs> Yay! Oh, and Frank, happy birthday! So, We're unstoppable, by the way, tonight. If they screw up, then we can catch them. We're gonna win. Hey, it's Sculptor Raids! Oh, yay. Choose an artist from your team who can get you to guess the answer on the back of this card by sculpting the subject in cranium clay. Hint, food. Go! Oh, no! Oh, uh, no. Ha hamburger pizza! <laughs> you got it. What the fuck? <laughs> You can't just no. You just you can't it. just know the answer. I just guessed. I didn't have to sculpt anything. That's how awesome. It <laughs> That's a pretty good shot. <laughs> I think that'll be awesome. I bet you you can eat this stuff. What are you doing, dude? But don't you... eat the game. Now get up and throw that away, because you're not gonna leave it on the table. Like, Horbe! No, you do it. <laughs> It's obviously time to do some shots. This fucking show is falling apart. No costumes. Shit's falling. I have a costume. <laughs> Early the, times. Dylan, both of these shots are for no. you. No. Yeah. Is it okay if I just drink a little bit out of, straight out of the bottle? You gotta take two shots. Yeah, just chug the whole rest of the oh, bottle. Little, 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 little. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that was way more than two shots. <laughs> Alright, Okay, we have to do a yellow. You guys are far behind. To win this cameo. Get the fuck out of here. You're a cheater cat. You were holding it, so I can read it. You know what it is? You know what you got? You know what you are? You're the guy who cheats on his fucking taxes. But somebody's gotta pay for education. Yeah, one of you cheat on taxes. Don't step all over my lines. What? <laughs> okay, you gotta hum a fucking oh, song. Oh, doggy! <laughs> you gotta hum this song. Do, 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 do. All right, everybody, stand up. It's time for Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Cubbies! <laughs> On to the people. Spellbound. Yes, I will spell. To win this spellbound, choose a teammate who can no, correctly spell go, the word below. Below. I'll read the word aloud. Can I get the origin? The timer. I'm gonna read the word, and then you're gonna try to spell it, right? Oh, the word below the card, not the word below. <laughs> See, that's very funny. Apocalypse. Okay, I'm really horrible at spelling. <laughs> a. P. O. L. Y. C. A. P. S. E. I'm sorry, Dylan, that is incorrect. Wait. Dylan, that was the worst spelling I've ever heard. I can't spell! Why the fuck did you want to do it then? You insisted on doing it. You said, I'm gonna spell this. And then he says the fucking word, and you're like, I can't I thought spell. the word was below. B-E-L-O-W, okay? That's why. Aaron, I told you early in this game, don't ever give up hope, because sometimes you get blessed with a dope. D-O-P-E, I smoke it every day. We know. <laughs> to win this lexicon, your team must determine the correct definition 
of the word below. Yeah, this is and the word is not below, okay? The word is oxbow. A, a U-shaped bend in a river. Uh, B, a steam that flows uphill. A steam that flows uphill? S no, just steam that flows uphill. Steam that flows okay. uphill. Stream. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, stream. Yep. Exist, okay. I, uh, I have poor vision. Sorry, that was a reading apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a river It's thing. a U-shaped bend in a river. Correct. That's, we're right. in! We're in! Jason, we made it to the center. Now what happens? Well, now we have to answer a question correctly from each of the four categories, but these guys can still catch us. It's, it's yeah. neck and neck. This round is sponsored by Ashley Bauer. Yay, Ashley Bauer! I, I heard that uh, she's a smoking hot Asian girl. <laughs> she is a smoking hot Asian and girl. And we love yeah. we love them here at Beer and Board Games. We can't get enough of them. That oh. reminds me of a cocktail waitress in All right. Boise, Idaho. I know the Hank William jokes formula. Insert type of female, and then like sort of a trashy part of the country. <laughs> just like, he's right. No, it's just like he's cracked it. it. No, he's cracked it. He's like, oh, remember that flight attendant in Reno, Nevada? <laughs> and then there's nothing following. It. Nothing. There's no nothing. joke that comes out. <laughs> copycat. Everyone. Everyone plays this club cranium copycat. <laughs> Choose a performer from each team to act like a famous person or character. First team to guess this answer wins an immediate bonus roll. Oh, um, uh, uh I keep going, keep going and going and going. Oh, energizer got it! Yeah. Alright, do we get to go right, so again, though? No, because that was a bonus one. Data head. Don't grope me and call me beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we are on data head, and this is for the game. Yeah. Dr. Lemon here will answer that Here's shit. Here's your question. What connects each piston in an engine to the crankshaft? Uh, a, rocker shaft. Nope. B, camshaft. Yep. C, connecting rod. Yeah, that's D, what it is. D, push rod. Camshaft. I don't know cars, it's so. It's a camshaft. Are you positive? No. Connecting rod sounds like it could be right Yeah, too. that's what they call it. They call it a connecting rod. It's a fucking camshaft. I don't know cars. Camshaft. Cam is that your final? Is our final answer. I'm sorry, it's connecting rod. Which, you fucking which asshole. Is what he said. You could have, <laughs> you could have thought about it for a second. You <laughs> fucked this over because you wouldn't stop and think. No, because I've heard of a camshaft. I haven't heard of a connecting rod. Oh. Polygraph. Oh, good. True or false. The area of a triangle is equal to one half the length of its base times its height. No, oh, I'll say that again. One half. It's adorable that he's doing. Yeah, he's writing it's it out. square. Nine. You have 17 minutes left. Let's say true. Correct. You win. All right. We won the cranium. It was a very close game. It was one of the closest games I think we've ever had here on Beer and Board Games. It was very good, and you've got the medals to prove it. <laughs> Spelling yeah. champ. Bum 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 bum